In this video, we're going to cover key things you need to know about a medication called lansoprazole, including what it is, who can and can't take it, how to take it, as well as side effects and much more information. As ever, each section of this video is timestamped, so please feel free to stick around for the whole video or skip ahead to the sections that interest you most. So first of all, what is lansoprazole? Well, lansoprazole is a type of medicine that's called a proton pump inhibitor, or PPI. Proton pumps are the enzymes in the lining of your stomach that help it to make acid, which in turn helps you to digest food. Now, because lansoprazole prevents the proton pumps from working properly by blocking them, it reduces the amount of acid that the stomach makes, and it's for this reason that it's used for conditions and symptoms like indigestion, heartburn, acid reflux, and gastroesophageal reflux disease, also known as GERD, or if you're in the US, GERD. Lansoprazole can also be taken to prevent and treat stomach ulcers. Now, here in the UK, lansoprazole is only available on prescription, meaning that your doctor will need to prescribe it before you can take it, and it comes usually as capsules as well as tablets. So now we understand a little bit more about what it is, as well as how it works and what it can be used for, well, who can and can't take lansoprazole? So most adults and children can take lansoprazole, but like all medications, it's not suitable for some people, especially if you've ever had an allergic reaction to lansoprazole, if you've had liver problems, or if you're pregnant or trying to get pregnant or breastfeeding. Now, if you're due to have an endoscopy, which is a camera test to look at the food pipe, also known as the esophagus, as well as the lining of your stomach, then you should ask your doctor if you should stop taking lansoprazole a few weeks before your procedure. This is because lansoprazole may hide some of the problems that might usually be spotted during an endoscopy. So how and when should you take lansoprazole? So let's now discuss the practicalities around this. Well, it's important that you follow the specific instructions given to you by your doctor as to how often you need to take your medicine. But for most people, they will usually take it once a day, first thing in the morning. However, some people do take it twice a day, so they take one dose in the morning as well as one dose in the evening. Now, lansoprazole works best if you take it at least 30 minutes before a meal or a snack. That's because food stops some lansoprazole getting into your system. You can take it by swallowing the tablet whole with a glass of water or juice. In terms of strengths of medications, well, lansoprazole typically comes in 15 and 30 milligram capsules, and the specific dose of what you will take will vary from individual to individual. Your doctor may also increase the dose of medication if it doesn't initially seem to be working. Now, as a general rule of thumb, the dose of lansoprazole for indigestion is 15 to 30 milligrams a day, acid reflux is 15 to 30 a day, and stomach ulcers is 15 milligrams to 30 milligrams a day. Zollinger Ellison syndrome is 60 milligrams a day, and this can increase to 120 milligrams a day depending on how well it works for you. And typically, doses are usually lower for children, older people, as well as people with liver problems. Now, if you've got problems swallowing capsules, you can open lansoprazole capsules and mix the granules inside with a little water or fruit juice, or sprinkle them onto soft food things like yogurt or apple puree to help you swallow them. In terms of how long you're going to need to take lansoprazole, well, depending on your condition, you may only need to take it for a few weeks or sometimes months. Sometimes you may even need to take it a little longer, even many years. But usually once you start to feel better, which can be after a few days or weeks, you can stop taking it. But again, it's best to speak to your doctor before you make this decision. PPIs, like most medicines, can have side effects, so it's best to take them for the shortest time possible. Now, if you accidentally forget to take your medicine, then take the missed dose as soon as you remember, unless it's within 12 hours for your next dose, in which case, skip the missed dose and take the next tablet at the usual time. Don't take a double dose to make up for a forgotten one. Now, if you accidentally take too much, then it's very unlikely that taking one or two extra doses of lansoprazole will cause any problems. Normally, you might get some of the common side effects, which we'll go on and discuss in the next section of this video. So most people who take lansoprazole don't have any side effects, but if you do get them, it's usually mild and it should go away when you stop taking this medicine. Common side effects typically happen in more than one in 100 people, and these include things like headaches, and to try and prevent these, make sure that you rest and drink plenty of fluids and try avoid drinking too much alcohol. You could also ask your pharmacist to recommend a painkiller. Headaches should usually go away within the first week of taking lansoprazole, but if they last longer than a week or they're very severe, then you should speak to a doctor. Another side effect is feeling sick. 
It may not help to eat rich or spicy food when you're taking lansoprazole because actually this can exacerbate the effects of feeling sick or nauseous. Diarrhea or being sick and vomiting is also common and you should drink plenty of water or squash by having small frequent sips to avoid dehydration. Now signs of dehydration include things such as peeing less than usual or having dark or strong smelling pee. Now don't take any other medicines to treat diarrhea or vomiting without speaking to a pharmacist or doctor. If the diarrhea doesn't get better, speak to your doctor. And if you take contraceptive pills and you're being sick or you've got severe diarrhea, then your contraception may not protect you from pregnancy. And again, you should check the pill packet for advice. Other common side effects include stomach pain. It can help to eat and drink slowly and have smaller and more frequent meals if you're getting this. You can put a heat pad or covered hot water bottle on your stomach, which may also help. But if you're in a lot of pain or you have severe stomach pain, then you must seek medical attention. Lansoprazole can also cause constipation or wind. So try not to eat foods that cause wind, things like lentils or onions. It may help to eat smaller or more frequent meals as well as eat or drink slowly. Some pharmacy medicines such as semeticone may also help with the symptoms of wind. You can also get itchy skin rashes, feeling dizzy or tired, or having a dry mouth or throat. Now this is not an exhaustive list of every single possible side effect that you may experience, but it's just to give you a general idea of some of the common ones, as well as things that you can do at home to try and help minimise these. Now serious side effects are thankfully rare and they happen in less than one in a thousand people, but these can include things such as joint pain along with red skin rashes, especially in parts of your body that are exposed to sun, such as your arms, cheeks and nose. Of course, this may be less noticeable on darker skin types, but these can be signs of a rare condition called subacute cutaneous lupus erythematosus. This can happen even if you've been taking lansoprazole for a long time. You can also get stomach pain that can be getting worse. This can be signs of an inflamed liver or pancreas, as well as severe or persistent diarrhea. This could be a sign of an inflamed bowel. If you're experiencing any of these, then you must seek medical attention. In very rare cases, it's possible to have a serious allergic reaction called anaphylaxis to lansoprazole. This is where you get swelling of the tongue, the lips and the face. If you develop this, you must seek urgent emergency medical treatment because it can be life-threatening. Now, in terms of pregnancy and breastfeeding, lansoprazole is not usually recommended if you're pregnant because there's little information about its use during pregnancy. Your doctor may recommend a similar medicine called omeprazole instead as there's more safety information available. You may wish to treat your symptoms without taking medicine. You can often try eating smaller meals, avoiding fatty and spicy foods, sitting straight when you're eating because this is going to take the pressure off your stomach. Now, if you're getting symptoms at night, you could also prop your head and shoulders up when you go to bed. This helps to stop the stomach acid coming up through the food pipe whilst you sleep, simply by gravity. If your doctor or health visitor says that your baby's healthy, it's generally okay to take lansoprazole whilst you're breastfeeding. It's not known how much passes into the breast milk, but it's likely to be a very small amount and your baby will not absorb a lot into the body from the breast milk. Now that brings us to the end of the video. If you've got any questions, comments, or you want to share your own experiences of using this medication, please do so in the comments section. If you have learned something new, I always like to hear from you. And if you haven't done so already, please remember to like the video and consider subscribing to the channel for new weekly medical education videos each week. Thanks for watching and until next time, bye.